Hi everybody, today I'm back with a recipe that's different. It's not an instant pot multi-cooking, multi it's not a gravy, it's not a curry, it's just cabbage and capsicum vegetable or sabzi. This is going to be a dry uh, vegetable, so we're going to use our instant pot in a different style today. So all you need is half a um, head of cabbage, I've chopped it up finely. I have half a um, bell pepper or capsicum, half of an onion, so this was a really big onion, so you could either take a small or full small or maybe three-fourths of a medium, and then I got some garlic, ginger, and green pepper, a serrano pepper, chopped up very finely over here. Got my spice box, some salt, and asafoetida or hink. So here's what we're gonna do. Start with adding some oil to our pot. This is on saute mode, so it is already hot. And I'm gonna start by adding hing. As you can hear, it's sizzling. Mustard seeds. And you can adjust the quantity of oil um, if you need to. Gonna add some cumin seeds. Let those things splutter in here. To the oil now, I'm gonna add some turmeric. And let the oil kind of take on its color. And then we are gonna put in the onions. Saute the onions until they are light golden brown. Um, they generally will be yellow in color, but you can tell when they are cooked. Add some salt at, salt at this point to get the water going. As this continues to cook up, we're going to dump in all the ginger, garlic and green pepper and let that cook along with the onions. This would uh, take about 4 or 5 minutes. As you can see, this is cooking up well. Now what we want to do is add in the cabbage. And I can add in the bell pepper at the same time. You can also do this just with the uh, cabbage, uh, but the bell pepper adds a different sort of a flavor. It's a nice combination. This is like one of the things my mom cooks, um, like one of the combination that she has, and I really like it. So mix this up nicely. really a quick um, recipe because the cabbage doesn't take too long to cook up and you don't really want to cover it or make it mushy. So I'm going to add some more turmeric for color, some red chili powder. It can be adjusted according to your spice level. We also added a green chili so you might want to go light on the red chili. Coriander powder and a little bit of garam masala. The spices on this recipe can be light. You can use more green chili and it gives it a really nice flavor itself. You don't need a lot of dry uh, powder spices. Add a little bit more um, salt. Again, I eyeball it based on how much you added initially to the onion. Now, like I said, you want it to cook for about 5 to 10 minutes and see if you need more. Um, what you can do is you can cover it up with a glass lid uh, just to help cook it faster. 
and so as you can see um, it will just cook a little bit faster do not add any water because there will be uh, there will be water that releases from the cabbage itself and we don't want it to become mushy we want it to have cook but have a very slight crunch um, if you feel like you want to do something at the same time like this is cooking you could basically either steam other veggies like broccoli or carrot and um, kind of put in your trivet or whatever you use to create layers within your instant pot and then you can also reheat um, leftovers from a previous day or something like that at the same time so I kept it covered for about five minutes and then I've opened it up so as you can see it's already cooking maybe another five minutes in um, opened and your sabzi will be done there you have it uh, the cabbage is ready and um, I barely put it for another two minutes I took it off the heat immediately because I did not want my vegetables to be overcooked and you can eat this with roti or naan um, and then you can have rice and dal or a curry on the side as well it also uh, really goes well if you have yogurt on the side so this is all I will see you next time with another recipe uh, please let me know if you have any requests for recipes and I'll get that across to you until next time.